Well, this is going to be a two-part video of the full UI design process from A to Z. This is part one. And, in this video, we'll talk about the design brief, and next, I will wireframe a user interface. Hi! I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons, and click the bell icon for notification. Okay, at first, we will go through a design brief. This is the very brief guideline, that you set by discussing with the client, this is the base to start the design. You can use any tool for this. Like, Microsoft Word, Google Doc, or traditional pen and paper. You can also use some specialized note-taking software like OneNote, or as I am using here the Notion. So, first, we will take some general notes. A simple overview of the site, that the client is thinking. Simple information about the company. Then, what kind of services I am going to provide them. I put in some checkboxes so that I can tick, as the project progresses. Next, is preferred software. Sometimes, clients might prefer software that they are comfortable with, or the developer team might be comfortable with. Here, I'm gonna work on Figma. Then, there should be a clear breakdown of the pages, and sections within the pages. As you can see here, on the home page, there will be 10 sections, and also has a list of what each section might contain. Also, you can put some notes here either by you, or by the client. Next, I like to put the navigation menu list separately. Because most of the time clients might have some preference on it. Then, we will move on to the current situation of the existing website. What are the drawbacks as per client, or as per you? Who is competing here? And, sometimes clients might give you some inspiration also. They might give you some link to few websites, and say, we like this design, or you can take some ideas from here or something like that. In a UI design brief, you should finalize the cost of the project. And, you also should add the additional hour rate in here too. Because, sometimes, some clients might need some extra work later on. So, this rate will cover that extra time, and it will be much easier for you to submit a bill without any hassle. And, of course, some advance is always the right way to start a job. It gives you a boost for the work, and also, if the client cancels the project for some reason, you will not be at loss. And, it happens, more than that you can think of. Finally, a timeline will be very helpful, not just for clients but also for you. So, you can plan your next project ahead of time. Now, let's move on to the Figma. Okay, I'm using a UI kit here. It's called the Lo-Fi Wireframe Kit. You can use it for your project too. It has a very large number of components, and very helpful for fast wireframing because it's just dragging and drop. You can also use other UI kits, and there are a lot by the Figma community. And, if you want a plugin for that, you can use this one, called Wireframe. Now, let's wireframe this. All these are pre-built components. From my Asset tab, I will just drag and drop the component, and modify it as needed. All done. One tip, after you are done with initial wireframing, try to fill it up with real text. It will give you better perspectives of the UX. So, there you go. If you like this video, please let us know in the comments section. And I will see you in the next part of this video.